Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Take a look at this great quilt I have. It's super big and takes up a lot of space. Or area. Each of the squares in this quilt are one foot squared. And that means that each square is one foot long by one foot wide. So how many squares do you think there are in total? Well, I may lose track if I try to count them. Huh. I wonder if there's another way to find the area of this rectangle. These squares make the quilt look a bit like an array. And we used arrays to learn multiplication when we counted the rows and columns and multiplied them. We can use that strategy here. I can multiply to find the total number of squares. Let's see, there are 10 squares on this side and there are 15 squares on this side. 10 multiplied by 15 is 150? Whoa, that would have taken a long time to count. Glad I used multiplication. Guess what? We just found the area of the quilt. When we have rectangles, we can use multiplication to find the area quicker. Let's look at another example. Here is a smaller one that is easier to count. Okay, there are eight squares that make up the rectangle. Two along this side and four along this side. Two multiplied by four is eight. So this shape has an area of eight units squared. We can count the squares or tiles and see that there are eight. Uh-oh. This rectangle doesn't have any squares in it. But don't worry. We do have side lengths. And so we can make our own squares. Look, this side is labeled four inches. So we can make four squares that are each one square inch. And this side says five inches. Yep, that's right. We can make five one inch squares. Now remember, we already have one square in the corner. So we really only have to make four more to have five altogether. And let's fill in the rest of our rectangle. And now we can multiply. Four multiplied by five is 20. But let's double check by counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. Yep, the rectangle has an area of 20 square inches. Uh, making the squares inside the shape is a great way to visualize the area. However, as we continue, we'll see that we don't always have to make the squares. Let's do the next example by multiplication first and then make the squares just to check our work. Okay, here we go. This rectangle has a length of seven centimeters and a width of three centimeters. So let's start by multiplying. Seven multiplied by three is 21, right? Well, now we can fill in the squares to see if our multiplication was correct. Yup, the rectangle has an area of 21 square centimeters. I'm feeling good, I wanna practice a little bit more. Let's look at some real world problems. Okay, Nancy is making her own quilt. The width of the quilt is four feet and the length is six feet. What's the total area of the quilt? Well, we have our two side lengths, four feet and six feet, so we can multiply those. Four multiplied by six is equal to 24. Nancy's quilt has an area of 24 square feet. There we go. And we can also draw it out to show the squares. Great work. Let's keep going. Okay, here we go. Tony is painting a wall in his room. The length of the wall is 10 feet. The width of the wall is eight feet. What is the area of the wall that Tony is going to paint? Okay, the length is 10 feet, so 10 is one of the numbers we're gonna use to multiply. And we know to multiply because our word problem says area. And the width is eight feet, so that is the other number we're gonna use. And now we can multiply. 10 multiplied by eight is 80. And so the area of the wall is 80 square feet. Great job remembering the units of measure. Without the square feet, we may not know what the 80 represents. It could be 80 inches, 80 feet, or 80 miles. Uh, Tony, you might want a little bit more paint for that wall. All right, let's read this one. Amy is feeling artistic today. She wants to paint a canvas. Huh, I guess it's just a painting kind of day. 
The canvas has a length of 20 centimeters and a width of 30 centimeters. What is the area of the canvas that Amy is going to paint? Well, just like the last few problems, we need to identify the length and the width of the rectangle. The length is 20, and the width is 30. It's multiplication time! 20 multiplied by 30 is 600. So Amy is going to paint an area of 600 square centimeters. Ooh, looks like a masterpiece. It's renovation time! Bob is tiling his bathroom floor, and he's placed five tiles across one side of the room, and then he places ten tiles along the other side of the room. If each tile is one square foot, what is the total area of the bathroom? So, our length is five feet, since there are five one-foot square tiles, and our length is ten feet, since there are ten one-foot tiles. And when we multiply five and ten, we get fifty. So the bathroom is 50 square feet. Whew! Area is everywhere. You've learned a quick way to find the area of rectangles by multiplying the two sides, the width and the length, together. And make sure that the units are squared since the area is two-dimensional. Awesome work today. See you in the next video lesson.